I'm Will Weissert. I'm a national political reporter for the Associated Press in Washington, and I'm helping to cover the 2024 presidential campaign. Marianne Williamson is a, a self-help author. She's a best-selling author. She's written many, many books and, and sold a lot of copies. She was uh, at one point Oprah Winfrey's spiritual guru, and she also ran for president in 2020 uh, in the Democratic primary and was a real long shot to start. Dropped out before any actual votes were cast, but really managed to capture a lot of national headlines and a lot of attention from voters. And one of the sort of breakout moments she had was during a debate when she talked about how how, how love and spiritualism could help the country sort of overcome the forces of, of hate and negativity that she really blamed on then President Donald Trump. Why should it be considered too far left to say that in fact we should be a government of the people, by the people, for the people? She's back again. She's running in 2024. She sort of wants to be a kind of Bernie Sanders-like uh, insurgent candidate. She supports uh, Medicare for all under a single-payer government system. She's calling for a national minimum wage, um, and she says basically that uh, you know inflation can be combated by you know making sure that uh, you know there's a crackdown on corporate profits and stopping you know things like price gouging from big corporations. She has talked about invoking the image and the memory of FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, in terms of uh, calling for a, a major education uh, package, you know, and really see the government take a much more active role in promoting social welfare. She's also much more of an isolationist opposed to sort of military actions around the world, much more so than, you know, a more moderate Democrat like, uh, you know, President Biden. So Marianne Williamson faces a number of challenges uh, towards uh, winning the, the nomination. You know, obviously running in the same party as a sitting president is difficult under any circumstances. She's really not only facing President Biden, um, but also facing a Democratic National Committee that is completely unified behind Biden. They, they're not planning to do any debates to, high, to potentially give a national audience to any of Biden's challengers. Um, so it's going to be a, a, you know, a bit of an uphill climb. But what she says is that if you look at polls, and, and this is true, a lot of uh, voters and even a lot of Democrats say they'd rather not see President Biden run for president again. Now that he is running, they could potentially be looking for alternatives. Um, but what the White House says is that any other Democrat that gets into the race potentially could weaken Biden and help somebody like President Trump, who's running for the Republicans.